Oh, hey there. How you doing? So this actually came to my door yesterday, a day earlier than it was supposed to. Um, and I was just too busy with work and I, I didn't have time to get into it while there was still daylight outside for filming. Um, but yeah, this is inside this box is my Aristides that I ordered back in the middle of February. It's now May 8th. It's been about two and a half, almost three months. And uh, let's just get into the box. I'm super excited. So I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is, but we'll, we'll start with the desk and, uh, and work our way from there. I'm just gonna cut through this Breek Bar tape. Let's see how far we get. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Clean opening, we, we've got all of these horrible packing peanuts that I just can't stand. I'm gonna try and keep this as consolidated as I can, but no, no promises. Oh no, it's all falling. <laughs> oh boy, all right, well. So, mono bag. Every Aristides comes with one. They are fantastic, super well padded, but like they look really good. They're nice and stylish and pretty slim. Um, I much prefer these kinds of like tough gig bags over like a, like a hard shell case. Um, and I'm actually not going to get into the guitar yet. Let's, let's see what's in this giant pouch first. So every Aristides comes with a mono bag, and part of that bag is this just gigantic pouch that can fit a laptop or guitar pedals. Uh, in this case, we get an Aristides guitar strap that's already fitted with strap locks to keep your nice new guitar from falling off your shoulders. Super nice inclusion in there. Uh, and you also get, if I can find it, it's actually in this little zipper, you get a truss rod adjustment tool. You used to get a t-shirt, um, and that's not here, so Pascal, what's going on, man? You also get this really dope uh, Aristides little fabric wallet with the certificate of authenticity. So that's pretty cool. So all of the extras are cool, but obviously I'm really interested in the guitar itself. Um, which is actually secured by a little zip tie. Oh boy, ah man. See if I can do this without cutting myself or the bag. Um, no guarantees. All right, zip tie. So in this bag is my Aristides 070SR. Um, obviously the 070 is the company's seven string uh, model. I actually had an 070 um, before that I bought secondhand, but um, we went to the NAMM show this year, I checked out some of the new RAW models, and I just immediately like fell in love, went home, sold my 070, and uh, put in an order like right away, so. Um, yeah, this is the first time seeing of it, let's, let's go. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, wow. Get all this, uh, let's get all this off. So that was kind of a lie. I've already seen this guitar um, in its very early stages. I was on a business trip in Spain um, back in February, a couple weeks after I put in my order. And on my way home, I got stuck in the Netherlands. And um, it, it turned out my hotel was like right down the street from Aristides factory. So they gave me a little tour and I got to hold this before it had any hardware, uh, before it was even sanded, which was really, really cool. Oof, that's a, that's a sound. Wow. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's perfect. Oh my God. So, hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. It's, it's even like mostly in tune. Come on. <laughs> okay, so before I just like lose my mind over this thing too much, um, let's go over some of the specs. So this is part of Aristides' new RAW series that they uh, sort of showed off at NAMM. Uh, and basically the deal with these guitars, they are exactly the same in every way as the uh, rest of Aristides models, like sort of the, the core models, I guess you could call them. Uh, the only difference is that these don't go through their like super crazy painting process. So the way Aristides paints their guitars, you, you get these insane finishes, 
Uh, they're really intricate and they take a very long time. That adds a lot of labor cost and it adds more, you know, more expense for them. They have to, you know, they have to source the paint and, and do all kinds of other things. These ones, they actually just dye the outer shell of the guitar. So they have the raw series in five different colors. This is one of them. It's called anthracite gray. And um, obviously you can get it in the S models, which is like the slanted, the, the fan fret models. Um, you can get them in the S model. You can get them in a straight fret, more standard model. Uh, and it's available on all of the sort of super strat shapes. So you can't get a raw 020, uh, at least not yet. Um, but you can get an 060, 070, 080, um, add an S to the N, add an R, whatever you want to do. Typically the benefit of Arium is that it's, it's super resonant. Um, and with the raw series, they're, they're somehow even more resonant because there's just not that layer of paint uh, sort, of, sort of muting it down a little bit. It's not fully in tune, but you get the idea. It's very, it's very, very loud and resonant for an electric guitar. So like I said, this is the Anthracite Gray 070SR. Uh, and that's all fairly, fairly typical. You know, it's just one of five colors for this model. Um, but as for some of the more custom things that I asked for, we've got this black and gold hybrid hardware. So I really liked the look of an anthracite model they had at NAMM that was, uh, it had the hybrid bridge and tuners, and then the, the pickups were just, uh, they, they were just, they had gold covers. So I really liked that. They don't offer gold covers on the slanted models though. So with this, I got gold screws on black pickups. Um, gold saddles on a black bridge and gold tuning uh, pegs on the tuners. We've got a five-way pickup selector and a single volume knob where the tone knob usually goes uh, because I just never use the tone knob and I like this. It keeps it out of my way. I'm not gonna like accidentally hit it while I'm strumming or anything. Lundgren M7s. I've never owned Lundgrens before but they had a model with Lundgrens at, uh, at NAMM that they handed to me. I plugged it into their uh, rev generator. And it was just, it was super aggressive, but also really articulate. And I really, really liked that. So hopefully I've got the same experience on here. With their fan fret models, Aristides uses very particular um, uh, slants. And so you really can only get a few different pickups. So you, your, your options are kind of limited. So you can get the Lundgrens like I did, Black Heavens, M7s, whatever you want or you can get bare knuckles. If you're more into Fishman's, for example, uh, you're gonna have to look at a straight fret model. The, the fan fret ones, they just, they don't offer them with Fishman's. Something else I noticed when I was ordering this, um, on the online configurator, you can't order a fan fret model without this Aristides A logo on the first fret. I'm cool with that, I like it, but uh, that's just something to know. The reason for that is because there's not enough room on this different uh, headstock shape that the fan fret models get. There's no room for the Aristides little like logo plate up here. So they just tuck it right there instead. I think it looks really nice. And also interesting with the raw models is that because of how they, they dye the shell, they actually can't quite get the back plate to match the color. And so instead of trying and like getting sort of a close approximation that's not quite there, what they do instead is give you this clear back plate. And I actually really like it because it lets you see Aristides just immaculate wiring. Um, it's, it's so good that I just, I really hope I like these pickups because I never ever want to get in there and change any of it, you know? Anyway, I don't know how much longer I can sit here and just talk about the guitar instead of playing it. So I'm going to hook this thing up into the Pliny Archetype plugin um, and close off with that. Thanks for watching and uh, stick around and I'll hopefully post some more Aristides videos soon.